Hi guys and welcome to my channel. We're going to be watching Shadowhunter Season 1 Episode 8. This is called Bad Blood. If you guys would like to follow me on Twitter or would like to get early access to my reactions or would like to watch the full reactions over on my Patreon, the links for that are down below. Let's get into this episode. You know that. No downwalker can come into the Institute. Not without an invite by a Shadowhunter. Give it back to the Clave, no. Not after everything we went through to get it. This cup is the one chance I have at getting my mom back. I agree with Clary. We can't give the cup to the Clave, not now. It's our only bargaining chip. Follow me. Don't misread this as friendship. Since you've arrived, our whole world's been turned upside down. Leave a message. Simon, sorry. Yeah, now he's unavailable. He may be dead, thanks to you ignoring him. Oh, it's Simon. That one male male vampire, yeah. I wonder why this vampire is helping them. Is it just because he's afraid of Valentine and what he'll do to them? Killing Simon is grounds for war. The vampires were not behind this. Just Camille. Oh, Camille. Camille is who Magnus ha was in love with, right? I warned the mundane to stay away. I'm so slow, you guys. <laughs> friend can be resurrected. No. Clary, no. So I could have Simon back. Alive and breathing. That's just it. He won't return alive or breathing. I'll be, be a vampire. It's almost sunrise. Simon must be turned into a vampire tonight or stake through the heart. And if I do neither? This soul will be trapped for eternity. It's almost too bad they couldn't, uh, somehow... Ask Simon what he would want, you know? I don't know if he'd want to be a vampire. I hope you've returned with good news. The girl has the cup. I thought only warlocks could do portals. If she found the cup... Where is it? She got back to the Institute, sir. Lucian Greymark got in the way. If I bury Simon... What are the risks? Clary, no. Jace, I not. need to know. Simon is buried and he doesn't emerge. He'll be trapped under the earth, starving for eternity. Oh my god. If, if I. if I stake him. He'll die a human death. It's painless as far as I know. Uh, hello? Okay, so it's not Valentine. <laughs> I thought it was Valentine, but I saw a girl flicker look like. Okay, who are you? I'm Lydia Branwell, envoy from the Clave. The Clave has ordered me to take temporary control of this institute. Wait a minute, nobody informed us. The Clave doesn't need to. And to repeat myself, it's temporary. So we've got zombies now? Oh, they're going to attack the pack. I'm still confused about this uh, portal using. Is he a warlock? Because I thought Valentine didn't like warlocks. Oh, gosh. Behind you guys. It doesn't make sense why she would tell her that he's dead because she'd want proof. As a mom, I would want proof that my child was dead. I'm not just gonna take your word for it just because you're his friend. Okay, it's, it's like my brain is telling me to do one thing and my heart another, and he was told to tame the bird, not to love it. That's why you have to listen to your head. If I listened to my heart, I'd never be able to do my job. Being a shadow hunter means that I have to be dead inside. I'm not sure I want to be one. He's not completely. I mean, you can see how emotional he was just talking about that. Never seen anything like it. We'll take the body back to the Institute. Do a full autopsy. Oh, there were two of them. I get that. I, we have an expert forensic pathologist, highly trained in all the creatures of the shadow world. Do you have one here? Fine. 
you win. Just let me know what you find. But of course, he could be going after the old crew. I'm sure Valentine has a grudge against anybody who turned against him. We'll put extra wards on the Institute. Right, for Hodge. And your parents. Do they conceal that from you? They're, his parents were circle members? Did I just misunderstand that? Magnus Bay? Come here to the Institute? Yes, is there a problem? No. Magnus is, um, quite magical. He's, uh, very, very good at magic. <laughs> Stop talking. Do you know him well? Sorry. You shouldn't have had to find out your parents were ex-Circle members. Not like that. No. You know there's been a ban about talking about the Circle till now. Yeah, how convenient for my parents. Look, it's Simon. Look, he's dead. I want to get my hands on that thing. Speaking of which, how is Alexander? <laughs> I was hoping I might hear from him. It's just so hard to tell if Alexander's even interested. I, mean, I can't fathom why he wouldn't be. I'm not sure if you noticed, but my brother is not exactly warm and fuzzy. And dealing with our parents who are trying to find him a wife. Sorry. <laughs> Luke, if you kill yourself, he wins. What if I attack you after I turn? If I hurt you, I couldn't move myself. You don't. Jocelyn, you have to go. I won't. You have to. It's starting. No, I can't tell you what to do. If you choose to live, I hope you learn to love yourself the way I'll always love you. Okay, so that answers the question that I had in a previous episode. It's easy going from a revered shadow hunter into a werewolf. I lost my family, my friends, but not my mom. No, Jocelyn never abandoned me. You know I love Simon like a son. If you decide to bring him back, just know that his journey won't be easy. So make sure you do it for him. Not you. But see, the, the difference here is that Luke chose for himself. Simon can't choose for himself right now. I have the preliminary autopsy findings. I'm giving these to me. Just go to the head of the Institute. Because he wanted to see you. And it's just like... It's like my whole life has been a lie. Everything I've ever known is... It's not what you thought. So I, I've done everything that they've asked. Maybe you should start living for yourself. Do what's in your heart. I think you're right. Oh, it's Camille. I want my property back. Simon is not your property. If you'll just hand him over, I'll be on my way. You Camille killed this mundane. She's been breaking the accords for too long now. Here's the evidence we need to show the clay of what Camille has been doing. If we just get rid of the body, this mundane means nothing. Means something to her. Nothing over my dead body. Which will it be? Oh, she hadn't made the choice yet. Okay. Alright, so she's making him a vampire, right? Does he want to marry her? And we'd get to run it. Lydia Bramwell, will you marry me, Alec Lightwood? I don't like it. That mundane's a fighter. You should be with Magnus. He survived the vampire. I'm waking up. <sighs> He's like, be well, he may attack you. Yeah. Finally, somebody. Right. Is, is he gonna... Oh. Is he dead? Am I a vampire? Yeah. Tell me this is not really happening! 
happening. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm repulsive! Please, please, please don't say that, okay? You're still the same, Simon. Nothing more than a monster. Stay away. Simon. Okay, guys, so that is the end of episode 8 of season 1 of Shadowhunters, and... Uh, this episode mostly dealt with Simon, um, whether or not to kill him completely or to let him become a vampire. And Clary chose to turn him. I don't know if that choice was because she didn't want to lose her best friend or she thought that's something that he, that he'd rather be around than not around. I don't know. Um, but Simon rose and he's not happy. Um, he's not like angry at her or anything. Cause I don't think he knows that she made the choice for him. Uh, right now he's just, he thinks he's a monster and he doesn't want her to be near him. Probably cause he's afraid he might hurt her or something like that. Or she, he just simply doesn't want her to see him as a monster. So, um, I don't know where that's going to go. I, I don't know what the right choice would have been. Uh, I don't know. I think... Judging by the way he took it, I'm going to say that he rather... He probably would have rather been dead than be a vampire. And... So, yeah. I mean, I guess he could still die. I mean, if he really doesn't want to be a vampire, I'm sure they could take him out. You know? Uh, I know Clary wouldn't be happy about it, but if that's what Simon wants, yeah, they could do that for him, probably. I'm sure they've killed vampires. and um, Yeah, I didn't, like, I didn't know that chick's name, like, this whole time. The vampire chick, uh, Camille. So I didn't put, put it together that Camille is the same uh, Camille that uh, Magnus was in love with. So, yeah. Unless I'm wrong. But I don't think I am. But I could be. Um, Magnus came to the Institute. He was... Um, I guess he was checking to see if Magic made the... What was it? Forsaken? Is that what they're called? The zombie looking things? Uh, and he was asking around about Alec and how come he hasn't called him and all this stuff. So uh, he's very interested and he told Alec he should follow his heart. And Alex said that was a good idea. I'm pretty sure Magnus was thinking more of along the lines that Alec would want to be with him. But Alec turned it all around when he heard Lydia, is that her name? Talking to her parents saying that the clave is going to take over the Institute. And um, so he's come up with the idea to marry her. That way they both can run the Institute. I don't know why. I don't know. But also found out in this episode that um, Izzy and Alex's mom and dad are ex-Circle members. I didn't know that. Uh, so yeah, so there's that. And I also got a question I asked a while back uh, answered about Luke and um, about whether he was like a shadow hunter still or a werewolf. Or, like, half and half or whatever. So, um, from what I gathered in this episode, he is just full-on werewolf. He was a shadow hunter. He got turned into a werewolf. It was his choice to turn. And, uh, yeah, so now he's no longer a shadow hunter. He's a, a werewolf. So, um, and he lost, like, everything when he chose to, to remain a werewolf instead of, um, killing himself. And he didn't, I think the only reason he didn't kill himself is because of Clary's mother, Jocelyn. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, I, I had asked a question about Lydia earlier, about whether we were supposed to like her or not. Um, she seemed a little, um, hard when we first met her, but, um, I actually don't think she's that bad. So... I don't know if she's going to be somebody who's going to be sticking around or not. I mean, if she marries Alec, then I guess so. But I don't know. I don't think that this wedding is going to happen or it's not going to stick. 
So, I don't know. I just don't feel like that's a thing. Uh, Alex not going to be happy because he... I don't know, like, how he feels about Magnus, but I know he likes Magnus. And I know he has, like, no feelings for this uh, Lydia girl. So, I don't know. I know he's only doing it to get the Institute under his family's control. Um, or at least partial control because part, part of it's going to go to her family. So, I don't know. I guess we'll have to see what happens. But, um, I think I'm on to, it's like 1 a.m., I think I'm going to go ahead and watch the next part. So, um, this episode was okay. Um, I didn't really have a lot of feelings toward this. Like, when Simon was dead and stuff, I wasn't really feeling much, to be honest. You guys couldn't tell. I wasn't, like, sad or anything. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's because it's been a little while since I've watched a Shadowhunters episode. <laughs> and it has kind of got out of the groove. Uh, I don't know. But, anyway. Um, the episode was okay. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please give this video a like. If you have any suggestions on anything you would like me to react to, please leave that down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.